Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a second grade teacher in West Michigan, and this is day four of classroom setup. It is the last day of classroom setup, and I already am joined by a friend in the room way back there. Let's see, wave, 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 there she is. That is my sweet friend, Caitlin. She teaches fourth grade in my building, and she is phenomenal, we love her. And then a couple of our other friends, I think, are in the building today too, so we might all kind of congregate to my room and hang out because I have like the laminator, the paper cutter, everything is all set up and ready to go. We worked on that a little bit yesterday and that was really fun but yes I just got here and then Caitlin braided my hair I will insert the footage right now shout out to Caitlin for braiding the hair she did a fabulous job look how cute I cannot braid my own hair so like really depend on my friends for these things so yes it's gonna be a good day I feel like I have like a lot of little things to take care of so I feel like I just need to get started. But I did make a to-do list. You guys probably saw if you watched Classroom Setup Day 3. I have like a really long to-do list going. And also today, my husband Chris is going to stop in and my mom's going to come in at some point. So I have help. So like life is good. So here we go. Classroom Setup Day 4. Caitlin, do you want to come meet the people? Here, I'll bring it to you. Caitlin! Hello! Caitlin has a teacher Instagram and I'm trying to encourage her to post on it more. So you should all go follow it. <laughs> so that way she'll be inspired. What is your handle? Energetic in elementary. Okay, I'll pop it up on the screen right here. So everybody go follow her. She's super cute and fun. Like look at her cute little outfit. We love her. My husband Chris just called me and he said that he is on his way so he is coming in in just a little bit so I'm kind of keeping an eye on the parking lot for him and then I'm gonna let him in and he's gonna help out a little bit. I also wanted to share with you one of my coworkers got me this. It's so stinking cute. She is on my team and she got one for me and then for our other teammate as well who also teaches second grade and it's just like a little vending machine thing that she got at Target and she filled it with one of my favorite candies which are these like nerd gummy clusters that are so yummy. So isn't this like the cutest thing ever? So shout out to Kristen for this. That was very nice of her. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let Chris in in a minute because like I said, he's about to get here. And then I will check in with you once he's here and yeah, it'll be fun. So here we go. Chris is here. Mm. Woo! Yay. He's gonna help out around my classroom. I think I actually am gonna have him work on those little bracelets. Back in Caitlin's room. Here's Caitlin. She's gonna hang some disco balls, but look at how cute this is. work done today. See you guys. All right, so now it is just around 5 p.m. and mom is here. Hello, mom. She came after work to help out, so she's working on cutting out some little labels that are gonna go in the back room. And then I think in just a little bit, we're gonna go get some dinner. And then also we might stop by like Lowe's or somewhere to try to figure out a setup of some sort or a solution for my back room. I can't remember if I talked about it in this vlog or not, but I'm gonna hang up some shower curtains back there. So I'm trying to figure out like the best system for that. When my husband was here, he helped me like measure measure it all out and stuff and figure that out. But we still need to figure out how we're actually going to get the shower curtain in there or like how we're gonna set it all up. So that's on the to-do list. And then I've been working on my computer a lot today just trying to set up all of my documents for open house and all of that stuff. But I feel like I need to do something different because I'm very sick of staring at my computer. So I'm gonna run around and just do some stuff around the room like taking care of some stuff. I have a lot of stuff just like on the desks and everything. So I'm gonna work on that next. While mom works on the labels, I'm also gonna turn back on all of the fans because I am sweaty hot. Anyways, fans need to to go back on and then I'm gonna get to work. Here we go. Okay, so we've been working on lots of little projects. Mom and I, there's mom, there she is, right there. Um, So I'm gonna show you the project she worked on because she did a fabulous job. It's looking so good back here. Good job, mom, 10 out of 10. So she was working on getting the labels on all of these little bins. The lighting back here is atrocious, so don't be alarmed. But yeah, she got a bunch of labels on these little bins. There's a couple that I still need to make some labels for, we realized, but it is looking so good. She did a fabulous job and now we're going to try to figure out like the rod thing so basically I can't I feel like I keep telling you the same thing so I'm sorry if I do I'll just cut it off if I did but I have a couple of these shower curtains we're gonna get a rod that goes up there maybe I should set you down 
Can I set you down here? Maybe. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay. The angle's weird. You're in a bucket of headphones. That's fine. But we want to put a rod up here. We as in me. I would like us to do this. Mom is just going with the flow as she does. I would like us to put a rod up here, hang these shower curtains, like coming down like this. And that way, when I'm working with kids back here, they can stay shut like this, you know? And then the kids can't see all the fun stuff and get distracted. Because what would happen last year, even with my like precious peanuts who usually weren't super distracted by a lot of things, they're still seven and eight years old. Okay. Um, so I would be working back here with them and they'd be like, Mrs. Sauce, what? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that, Mrs. Halls? And I'm like, guys, you know? So anyways, if I just eliminate the possibility of that, like if I have the ability to just like close that off, I think that would be ideal. So we're gonna try to figure it out. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And that's just life. But hopefully we can figure that out. And then I have this right here for, this is like a tapestry and this is gonna be for open house. So at home I have like a, what do you call it? Like a backdrop holder, holder. thing. Yeah, like a pole. Um, It's not just a pole that has like the bottom part. I don't know what it really is, but I have one of those. Yeah, like a tripod sort of. So I'm gonna bring that in and then I also have up here, I made this second grade sign a couple years ago, but I lost the S. So I'm still searching for the S. That is also a work in progress, but I think I'm kind of accepting defeat at this point. I think I just need to make a new S. So it is what it is. I keep adding more things to my to-do list that's on the board. And that's just like how it goes sometimes. So for now though, we're gonna go out to dinner and Lowe's, woo. Okay, so mom and I just got back from Lowe's and mom is a genius. So let's see what we got. Oh, here she is. I was like, where did it go? So mom, tell us what you got. This is like a handle for like uh, paint, you know, painting like a big paint or brush. cleaning. You can extend it so you can wash high up or paint high up. And we're gonna use it because it was a lot cheaper than getting like a curtain rod. I think the curtain rod, like the cheapest one that we could find that would be the right length was like 30-ish yeah. dollars and this was like 20. Yeah. Or no, this is only 16 I think, right? Yeah. yeah, so we got that and then also we got some E600 to hopefully attach the leader wall posters to the magnets a little bit better. I might work on that actually next and see if that works. Mom is gonna work in the back room on that project. Yay! And then also we got some like little nails too and if we have time tonight, I'm gonna have mom work on putting the little La Casita flyer, or not flyer, what do you call it? Like banner up on La Casita, which is my Spanish library back here. So I have like all of these kind of like papel picado type little banner things, but they would always fall off. So I think she's gonna work on that if she has time. So yes, that is the plan. Yay. <laughs> So mom just finished this project back here and it looks so good. I do want to spray it with like the wrinkle release spray because I feel like that will make a big difference because it was like folded up so you can see there's like lines on it. So I'm going to take my camera off the tripod and I'll show you the whole setup and what it looks like. But yeah, it looks awesome. So mom did a really good job. Okay, so now this is what the back room looks like. There's definitely still some organization that I need to do over here. Also, there's some things I just like haven't brought out yet. So some of my flexible seating will come out. It's just not quite ready to come out just yet but eventually it will but this is what this space is looking like it looks so good my mom was able to use some magnet hooks to hang from the ceiling tiles this long rod that we got from Lowe's that we showed you and then these are two shower curtains and then I can just move them over and open them up and then I can access everything that's behind them but that way they're not so so sorry the space isn't so distracting for my students so absolutely love it it's looking so good and I also could just like sneak behind it if I need to too like this and yeah it's looking so good and she put all the new little labels on and everything today so she did a fabulous job back here okay trying to cover a couple of things here but I ended up putting their name tags on their desks I just have these like set on their desk I'm not gonna like tape them or velcro them or anything because eventually they'll probably put them in their seat sacks and I also made them little mini name tags as well that are in their pencil boxes so what I'm covering up over here this is their clever badge so they can hold this up to their Chromebook and it will log them in. One of my friends had the idea of putting this like right on their name tags, which I thought was genius. These name tags are from Teachers Pay Teachers, so I will link them below. And then also I went ahead and put all of their little bracelets with the gift tags right on all of their desks. So yes, their space is looking really good. I also put all of the pencil boxes inside of their desk, so those will be ready to go. 
Now mom is working on the leader wall. So again, <laughs> so I did this one right here to see if it would hold and it is holding. So I put E600 on the back of each of these magnets. There's four magnets, one on each corner. And now mom is going to add E600 glue to the rest of them. So they hopefully will hold up a little bit better. Fingers crossed. So just went to the copy room and made copies for my flip book. These are like one of my least favorite things to do every single year. They are so time consuming. Usually I can convince somebody to do these for me. So I went ahead and copied the papers and then I either will cut them at home or maybe I'll ask Chris to help me out or maybe like my mother-in-law or something. But I have those ready to go to be cut and then assembled. So I will bring home a paper cutter and then also I will bring home a stapler so that those can get worked on this weekend. So I think we are just about to head out. So I'm gonna walk you around and show you what the room is looking like. I think I am probably gonna have to come in at some point during this weekend just to double check that everything is ready to go for open house because sometimes we have time to work in our rooms on Monday, like during the day, but not always. And I just want everything to be like totally ready to go. And then if we do have time to work in our rooms then I can get stuff prepped for like the first day of school. So Monday is open house from five to seven. And then we have like training all day Monday, training all day Tuesday. First day of school is Wednesday for students. And so, so yes, I just have some things that I still need to do and I know I'll feel better if I just like have them done already going into Monday. So I'll probably come in maybe like on Sunday night and I may film it and try to do a vlog like maybe between Sunday and Monday or like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday or something like that, like a open house vlog and like trainings vlog and that kind of stuff. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. Let me walk you around the room really quick. It's looking really, really good. I did a lot of changes in here today and mom worked really hard. Mom's hanging on the couch now, which is well-deserved because she's been running all around doing all of the things. So yeah. Yes, I'm gonna walk you around, show you what the room is looking like, and then that will be the end of our last setup day, setup day four for this school year. So I changed around these stuffed animals a little bit because they would always fall. So my mom brought in like these little easel things that she had, and we put them on these like little easel. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see them like behind it all, but they're like little canvas or like picture book holder type things. And I also tried to scoot them back further so that way they hopefully don't don't fall off the cabinets. And then I got this little stuffed animal hammock thing, which is really fun. And then I put my book buddies below it. So this will just be like book buddy zone over here. And I think that that's going to work a lot better because they're further back. And also they're a little bit more stable, hopefully in those little easels. So I'm hoping that they won't fall as often this year, but we will see. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> be a little bit careful about what I show over here because I do have like documents now set out for open house over here. Some little things that I need to take care of still around the room. I also set out this pencil that I'm gonna have as like a photo op for open house and my mom put some E600 on these posters and I think she's just letting them dry so I'll have to put those up next time I come in so those are ready to go in my leader wall so hopefully those will stick a little bit better and then my mom just helped me put all of their books in their book boxes just their reading street book which is our reading curriculum and math expressions book which is our math curriculum back here I hung up this little sign for La Casita and then I'm gonna cut out letters and put the letters on top because we tried to fix this sign but then we realized that I'm missing an A and I could not find it anywhere. I also still never found the S in the second grade sign so it is what it is. I'm just gonna like leave that for now. Maybe someday I'll remake that but I think I'm just gonna like put the letters on this for now because I think this will be easier. This is like a pre-made banner. I want to say it was from like Walmart maybe last year. I got it around Dia de los Muertos and I've just had it since. I think I hung it up as decoration last year but yes I have that and then I have this all decorated with some of my little trinkets from my trips in Mexico and Guatemala, which is so fun. And then this is my student teacher's space over here, which you've seen a bunch of times. I still want to make a little sign to go right here, so I'm going to do that this weekend. And then I bought this pillow for her little chair back here. This was from Marshall's. I got that in the kids section of Marshall's yesterday, and I just thought it matched really well with the cups over here. Actually, a couple days ago now. Yeah, a couple days ago I got that. And I have like little cups right there, and it just looks super cute. And mom on the couch. There's mom. I have this also set up back here but I'm gonna bring in my little stand thing to make this like a background that we can use for open house and then the biggest thing that happened today was mom working on this awesome setup back here with those curtains like it turned out so so good so yes love this space back here definitely still some organizing I can do over in this space but I've said a couple times I think already like some of this stuff is gonna come out as the school year moves forward and once we kind of get like a handle on what our class norms look like and all of that stuff so that stuff is coming out eventually so 
so then that will open up a lot of space back here and also this little desk might come out too at some point so then I'll have a lot more space back here as well so yes that is what the room is looking like I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog and also this setup series and stay tuned for an open house vlog and like you know setting up for open house and all of that fun stuff and walking through my room one more time with everything set up and also for future teacher vlogs definitely stay tuned if you're not subscribed already please take a second to subscribe and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye Thank you.